But when YouTube interferes with your relationship and your life to this extent that you're popping pills and popping each other, maybe it's time to log the hell off. Not continue to abuse people online and each other offline. If anybody is a victim of domestic violence, there is help out there. There are 24-hour hotlines. There are people you can call that are not on YouTube that will not put your phone call out there. Hey guys, Pastor Mill here. Video basically in response to crafting comment that he left on my comment page that I didn't respond to. Now I did that deliberately because uh, if you'll notice he's post under my wife's wrestling one. Uh, his post is somewhere in the middle and I left that deliberately because at the end of his message right at the bottom of the post he says peace. So I was taking that as an olive branch. So I decided to stew on it for a little while and I responded to everybody else but him. There's a reason for that. I wanted to see and give him the opportunity to disappoint. And truly, that's exactly what he did. Because I didn't respond to it, he decided to do a live and started all over again regurgitating the old same stuff that he does all the time. Reason to go ahead and do this video. So anyhow guys, let's uh, start. You can actually hear guys craft and oozing with jealousy when it comes to me. Now, of course, according to the scriptures, jealousy isn't good. You know, maybe his pride is hurt. It could be a hundred different things. But nonetheless, this is a very eye-opening video and reveal how dirty Kim and them actually are. And he actually lies about his lies during this uh, video. We're going back to Pastor Mill, Lerd, who... <laughs> I like Milton for some reason. Well, I like that he is irritated by you calling him Milton. Yeah. I'll say that. Well, I'm not irritated by Kim calling me Milton. <laughs> I couldn't care less what she called me, as long as she doesn't call me late for supper. Myself. So, he made his videos about his wrestling championships. And, and so, I went, I went ahead on there, and I just hopefully... I'm not sure if he's seen this comment. It's still there if I go over and look at it. So he hasn't deleted it, but I'm not sure if he's seen it. Maybe it's in his held for. I don't have a whole for review thing going on on my channel. No, I seen your comment. I just deliberately didn't answer to it because I wanted to see if you were a man of disappointment, which you turned out to be. Review, maybe he's not seeing it whatsoever because he has me blocked or something. I don't know. So, which is fine, I don't care. I got his email blocked. I don't even want the man emailing me. Well, if you don't want to correspond with me, and according to you, you got me blocked on your email, why are you leaving posts in my comment pages? interesting you don't care to hear from me or in fact you blocked me according to you but yet you went ahead and commented in my post looking for a response from me that's kind of contradictive i said okay so let's review crafton has dug dangerously into your life to the point that quote if you or your family get hurt it's because of crafton and kim yeah. No, I did not say dangerously digging. All I said was what Kim said. Kim said that I'm going to get crafting to do some digging on me. That's it. Now, I was concerned about the doxing part. Nobody likes to be doxed. I'm already put my name out there. I already done that many, many times way, way, way back in my videos. So I'm not concerned about someone knowing my name and that sort of thing. I was just concerned like anybody in the right mind would be nobody wants to end up having their address stock that sort of thing and then have people show up at their house and then you have to deal with that issue that's the only point i was driving home here i said nothing about you digging dangerously so i guess that was just an add-on for you 
here you are proving that I know jack shit about you. I didn't put the word shit in there, but mm-hmm. thanks for proving my point that I have never dug up on you. Okay, I want more on that. I'm going to let him uh, dig his own hole as he speaks here and let him fall into it, and I'll reveal at that point. I want to clarify what I mean by that. I said in my video, you know, the one where I was under, clearly under a substance, according to uh, Granathan. Um, well, to be honest with you, Crafton, we all heard that live that leaked on uh, Mama Knows Best channel. We all heard the issue of violence, pills, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure if you can walk that back very well. It ain't clearly I'm under a substance. I you totally hear his last that. couple of videos? Yeah, that's where this under a substance thing comes from. I I'm, said I'm on, in that video, too, you know, I name. said in that video mm-hmm. that my brother has been professionally wrestling since 1980. So that would be your context clue, uh, Millard, that I know you have wrestled more than seven fucking times. The truth is all I spoke. No, it isn't. You said that you were a championship wrestler. You won one match out of eight in the, in the uh, documented Canadian wrestling, the only place that you're documented having wrestled at. But that's not what you originally said. You tried to downplay it to the point that I only wrestled seven or eight matches and I only won one. That's for clarification. That's what you said. My brother also trained the Moon Dogs too. Did you know that? The Moon Dogs were in the Memphis Wrestling Federation as well. Well, your brother never trained the Moon Dogs, so I don't know how you came about being an error in that sense. Because uh, the Moon Dogs were on the go before your brother. They started out in the 70s, so I don't know how your brother trained them in the 80s. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up logically. Today, Sailor or the Moon Dog would be probably 76, 77 years old if he was still alive. So, anyhow, uh, I guess you're 100% wrong on that. He fucking wrestled them all the damn time. Every Saturday, in fact, in Memphis. So whoop the fucking do you train the moon dogs? I don't care. I never trained the moon dogs. I was trained by one of the moon dogs. The same moon dogs that your brother has no idea who they are, obviously. Or you're adding in your own information and making your brother look like a liar. Either way. When Sailor White or the Moon Dogs were on the go, I was about seven years old. So I don't believe I trained the Moon Dogs. What you got played on is you yourself said that me and Kim were digging into your life so far that your life or your family right. were going to be getting hurt as a result of the depths that we are digging up on you. Yet I could not find, because I didn't bother looking for it, any of the rest of your wrestling fucking career. I don't... Well, let me say this. I never said that you guys were digging so deep or anything. I kind of just put it out there that you guys planned on digging in. According to Kim, she said it. She said in many posts that she said that she was getting you to dig into my life and all that stuff. Which isn't a hidden life. Obviously, I'm putting myself quite out there. So, it's obviously I'm not hiding or trying not to reveal myself. It's obvious I pretty much revealed myself and my whole family. Once again, my only concern was the doxing part. Um, what I mean by doxing, I mean people knowing where I live and having to deal with crazies like you and Kim showing up at my door. Not you and Kim necessarily, but you know the way it goes, people. Sometimes people get hurt. Or families get hurt under stranger circumstances than just that. Care, dude. I ha- and my comment continues. Hit. I have such little desire to know anything about you whatsoever that I made it pretty easy. He says in his uh, comments in his earlier video, less than an hour to make the one video. Took him less than an hour to compile his wrestling feats. No, it just took me an hour to dig up some enough stuff 
and you reveal my videotapes to prove that you're a liar. It wasn't my whole career. If I had to actually document my whole career, it would probably take literally hours, if not days. So, with over 300 live performances, that's a lot of video footage they're crafted. I only took an hour, I was saying, to reveal that you, sir, are a liar. That's it. This is how little time it took him, yet Crafton didn't know that I've done all these other things. Oh, but wait, Crafton is dangerously Daughter. digging on me and my... Right. There you go again with that word, dangerously. I never once stated that. You can still see my community post, guys. You can go on over and scroll on down, and you'll see that community post. Nowhere did I mention the word dangerously. All I said was Kim was getting him to dig into my life. And kind of she came off on a threatening manner in the sense of like, ooh, we're going to find out who he is and all that stuff. And I took it as a possible dox of an address, that sort of thing. I mean, who wants crazy showing up at their door? As I've already said, I put myself out there for everybody. I'm well established in the community. Most people know who I am. People from my own community back home are also on my YT channel. So what you're saying, Crafton, makes zero sense. You, in fact, did actually try to find out who I was, and you came up with some bogus information that made you look stupid. To prove I do not know anything about you, Millard, I had therefore not been digging up information on you. Well, once again, guys, listen to this. No, it isn't. You said that you were a championship wrestler. You won one match out of eight in the, in the uh, documented Canadian wrestling, the only place that you're documented having wrestled at. Thank you for proving my point. Remember when you made the fake mugshot? This is... Yes, I do remember the fake mugshot. That was for Natasha because she was digging up on me a while back too, remember? And she came up with uh, some pastor who died and he happened to be a black man. <laughs> That's why I did the mugshot thing because I thought it was hilarious. So I thought I'd bring it to the next level. And by the way, that's probably been the most epic, epic thing I've ever seen on YT. This is your fucking getting played with a mug shot i don't know shit about you and don't fucking want to I'll well if you didn't want to why would you seek out me in the first place why would you come up with that uh information that you did to begin with so therefore you're kind of being a liar right now let's continue and you'll see that he actually probed and looked further for me click to the end congratulations on your wrestling career oh i will say and as far as your father is concerned you came into our chat and told us about him passing, and we all, all of us here, expressed our condolences. Just wanted to make a small point. I did not go over to Crafton's and announce my father has passed. That's not true. I stuck to my own channel, and I put up my own video, and people brought condolences to my channel. So I did not go over to your channel and announce the death of my father. Once again, false information. That is it. There's nothing more to that story, Millard. Whatever you have been told or whatever you're trying to make happen with that is inaccurate and untrue. We expressed our sorrow for you. If you notice that, he said there's no more to that story, Millard. No more information about it or anything like that. You can tell he's putting up a guard because he knows what's coming, which I'm going to be putting up in the next video or so, exposing what him and Kim did. And it's going to be a bit of an eye-opener. Now, for a lot of people, it won't be a shock because you people already know that these people have, like, zero good credibility at this point. But I'm going to put it up because I think it's fair that I share with the community what they were trying to do behind the scenes. You're lost then as we continue to do so now. My brother, and then I said, blah, blah, blah. Congratulations on your pro wrestling career. My brother's a professional wrestler. I admire you guys for it. It's a fucking body slamming. I, I, I even said, how many times have you bashed your head on the turnbuckle, implying I know you've been doing it for fucking years? Now you're trying to walk it back. No, no, no. In your original post, everybody listen again. All our truth is all our spoke. No, it isn't. You said that you were a championship wrestler. 
You won one match out of eight in the in the uh, documented Canadian wrestling, the only place that you're documented having wrestled at. In your original post, you said that. You said that I only had eight matches and I only won one. So now you're trying to walk it back because you know I made you look like a tool. And rightfully so. When people talk on things they have no idea about, I think it's time to reveal the stupidity, in all honesty. You said it was 15. I take you at your damn word, bro. 17 years as a professional wrestler, sir. Bro, and uh, yet I could only find seven because I clicked on a link from Natasha Cooper's royalty chat. So you were over in Natasha Cooper's royalty chat hoping that she had some kind of goods on me. So you were digging. Once again, guys, as we go further through this video, you'll see him admit it again. He kind of digs his own hole and falls in it. So, it's either you were digging or you weren't digging at all. You can't have it both ways, and by your own admission, you were looking. That's the extent of digging up on you that I cared to ever fucking do. And I said, uh, I know nothing about you, and I don't care to learn anything more. So he's walking it all back because the little bit of information that he went to find on me turned out not to be what he thought it was going to be. So now he's walking it back, making it look like he wasn't digging, when obviously he mentioned already twice that he was. So, in actual fact crafting, you look just more like a liar and you're pegging yourself as one. Fucking go away. Make some fucking wrestling instruction videos or something. I have went away, haven't I? I haven't been over in your chat. I haven't been putting up videos as of lately on you and Kim or any of those things. So in a way, I did go away. And when you left that post on my comment page, I didn't respond to it. So perhaps you should go away. Remember, I never responded to it. And apparently, you have me blocked on email. So, with that said, I have been uh, getting away from you guys, but yet, you keep coming at me. Right now, you're doing a live about me. So, obviously, you should be the one to go away. Okay, we don't care. We're not looking, at, looking you up or anybody in your damn family. You just admitted that you were looking me up. You just admitted it. Now, you're walking that back again. It's over. There is no, it's over when I say it's over. Once I reveal a few other things about you and Kim, then I'll declare it's over. You don't get to pull the plug on a project when you started this mess to begin with. Remember, Kim over there shooting her mouth off, saying stuff about me, saying I was homophobic, I was hunting down young, single, skinny, uh, good-looking females. Remember that? That was my missionary uh, objective. So, you should probably get Kim to, uh, you know, keep it down a little bit. No wrestling match. You are not wrestling me. I told... I wouldn't wrestle you, Crafton, simply because I would snap you in half like a tweak. Sir, you have noodle arms. You have lunch lady arms. I do not wrestle beta males. Kim, I said, this is how you get to a wrestler. You flex at him. Bad. Bad of the ball. That's a fucking flex. I was like, look, my brother's a wrestler too. You, you, you've never won a match. So you're flexing on your brother's achievements because you have none for yourself. Interesting. You, you didn't even get a title. You got one of seven. You got the suckiest wrestling career and you fucking took it. I just wanted to respond and correct a bunch of lies that you put out there, and I think I've done a very good job of it by putting up my video showing you me winning like seven or eight titles over the last 17 years. So that video was just in response to your lies, not because you were poking at me for a wrestler. I just like exposing untruths. And thought it was fucking true and proved that I don't know shit about you. So enough with the we're digging on your fucking life shit. I agree. Why are you so interested in digging on me? Why? That's what's. That's the whole point. Like I said, there's nothing to dig. I already put myself out there a hundred times in a hundred different videos. Everybody knows exactly who I am, so that's not the part I'm hiding. I was just concerned about being doxxed and having my address exposed. That's it. 
nope. Uh, well, that that's where he came from. Is he appeared out of nowhere over there in Natasha's chat to tell her that she was blasphemous? <laughs> Well, I didn't appear out of nowhere. In fact, I started coming to the community around September. I used to drop in the Granny's chat, and I used to drop in the CJ's. I didn't stay. I used to come in and just say, God bless. I'm sure a lot of them could remember. I used to say stuff like, God bless, sending my love, that sort of thing. And then I'd pop out of the chat again. By then, I never even had a channel established. So, you're wrong again. And he had, like, two subs. Mm. And we were like, yeah. What? I never opened my channel until late December. I think it was December the 17th. I'm going to see if I can find a, uh, a screenshot of that. But nonetheless, it was December the 17th, if I'm not 100% sure. That's when I actually started my channel. Not in September. So I started it sometime in December. And I was encouraged by my own community and others who i've been associating with in the chats they said why not start up your own channel so i did well no and people forget it's like he just kind of manifested out of thin air one day mm -hmm. well let me explain that kim seeing that you're ignorant and stuff and you don't know what you're talking about let me embrace you with this information okay uh, when the Gabby Petito thing was going on, it happened before September, but we had an actual uh, prayer warrior system set up, uh, a prayer email system. And that's what brought me into this in the first place, okay? It's because we were all praying for uh, Gabby Petito and all that stuff. And that's how people reached out to me and said, Pastor, you know, they're talking about the Gabby Petito stuff and that. So I started going over looking at some of the live streams of Natasha. That's how I came to the community. I was invited by others. So just for your information, I never uh, manifested out of nowhere. And another thing, everybody gets their start on YT from somewhere. Doesn't everybody come from somewhere? So you sound foolish. On some late, late ass night, like Natasha Cooper panel where he had showed up. Nobody heard of him. He had like no subs. Just kind of man. I had no subs, Kim, because I never had a channel at that time. Manifested. Yeah. To be like, you are not a real Christian. I showed up on Natasha's panel because after I watched a few of her lives, she was claiming to be a Christian on one side of her mouth, and the other side of her mouth, she was actually blaspheming God's name and being disgusting. So when she had an open panel and said, anybody can come up if you are, uh, if you have any disdain for me, or whatever, and you want to come up, come on up now. So I decided to. And that's how all that came about. Yes. And that, but I'm like, where did he even come from? I mean, he, did he just like get on and, and there was like a Natasha live and he's like, yeah. I really think he's a... Sort of like that, Kim. It was, I watched many lives in Natasha and I was like shocked. Because I was like, what? These people are claiming to Christians the same way when you two speak. I'm like, what? These two claim to be Christians? So that's why I end up calling you people out too for misrepresenting the word of God. I don't know who he's associated with per se, like coming in the door, but yeah, I it's mean, weird. it's weird. You like just make a channel. Maybe that's what and you scared land him into thinking Natasha? we're digging up to try to find answers to those questions. We're weeks deep and we still have no fucking idea. And we uh, are making theoretical like, who is this guy? So there you go. There's another admittance that he was trying to look into me because now they're a couple of weeks deep into it. So basically they're saying that they've been into this for a couple of weeks trying to find out who I am. In order to do that, you got to dig, right, Crafton? So once again, you admitted from your own mouth that you've been digging on me. So, with that said, he made my point for me. Shit. He's stranger than me. You know, I'm fucking weird. Yes, you are very weird, and uh, I don't know what to say about that. Right? <laughs> like, you win. You won a bunch of shit. You did a championship wrestling thing, I'm sure. Thank you for acknowledging my achievements. Sure you did. So, woo-hoo. Yeah. Because what I did was I challenged the Canadian wrestling. I was like, and your shit Canadian wrestling, fuck that. We got Memphis wrestling, son. You know, it's pretty. 
Well, me responding to you had absolutely nothing to do with you attacking Canadian wrestling. I mean, you know, that just tells us how much of a tool you really are. In fact, I was just making a video in response to your lies about me and my professional wrestling career. It had nothing to do with clapping back because you hurt my feelings, okay? You and Kim are the most butthurt people in YT, not Pastor Mill. Easy. Well, it explains this third person thing because that's always freaked me out. So I worked in politics for a long time and it's like they all seem to... Yes, you worked in politics and you lost. You lost your race. You lost anything, even your primaries. You didn't do very well as a politician. You're not a lawyer and you're a horrible advocate. So now you're overworking with children, which is a good blessing nonetheless. But your achievements are far but few. Refer to themselves in third person and I've come to be so Crafton doesn't do that. That's one thing I like about him. <laughs> I refer to myself in the third person, so you say, because I guess after 17 years of pro wrestling, a little bit of that will leach out into my real life. Does that make sense, guys? Even as my approach at ministry, or my approach at sermons, or my approach at preaching, all those things, uh, 17 years of a wrestling career may leach a little into it, and I think that's fine. I think it gives a character. <laughs> like... He really Something's does. off he does with it. that. Something's just off with that. But he does that, and it don't. I'm like, that's a wrestler thing. Yes. But he just said like the pastor, right? Like he's the only. I don't apologize for any of that. I think that adds to me. I think anything you do is going to leach into your real life. That makes sense. I make no apologies for it. It is what it is. But now, unlike you guys who pretend you're something that you're not. For example, you pretend to be Christians and how you love the Lord and how you walk with God and all that stuff, when in actual fact you don't. And you've proven that by getting up and gossiping and hating on people on every live. And on top of that, at this point, Kim, the only achievements you made was stealing another woman's husband. And the only achievement Crafton made is running off on his wife and becoming an adulterer. That is facts. Whether that makes your feelings hurt or not, Truth is truth, no matter how you package it. This is this is wrestler logic shit. So there you go. All you gotta do is challenge his wrestling thing, and he'll come back a fucking flex. Oh, I think it's hilarious. Bad of the ball. If you lie about me or downgrade what I've achieved, I am going to come back and prove you wrong. That's what I do. That's what anybody in the rightful mind would do. Anyhow, guys, thanks for listening to the video, and uh, God bless.